In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we continue our first look at PowerDirector version 16 and some of the new or changed features in this version of the program. What we're looking at today is how you can work with your title editor built into PowerDirector in two different kinds of screens. There are two variations on how you can edit your titles. And so now I have on the screen a, a video of a waterfall and I'd like to put a title on it. So I'll move into my title room. I can press the F7 hotkey or I can simply click on the T on the left side of the screen. And now I have the familiar title options. I'm going to take the My Title, drag it down into track number two and drop it there. In order to edit, I can double click on it or I can press the F2 key to get into my title editor, my title designer. Now here's the change you'll see when you're in version 16. You now have two buttons above the preview screen. The left button says basic, the right button says advanced. And if I click on the either button, you will see a different screen slightly on the left side. When I click on advanced, I have three more options over here. And I also have access below uh, to do keyframing. If I click on basic at the left, I don't have the keyframe option here. I have a different option about using a uh, move in and move out. And I have a slightly more abbreviated list. Let's talk about why they've done this and when you might want to use one screen as opposed to the other. If you're, all you want to do basically is edit the look and feel of the letters in your title, the basic button is the simpler one to use. It, you have an uncluttered screen on the left. You have the option of using all the character presets that are built into the system. I'll click on the right arrow here, and here it gives me uh, a host of the presets that are available in PowerDirector version 16. And they're not the same as in 15, by the way. And I'll click there. And then I can also just go in and change manually the fonts using this font paragraph section. We have lessons on this, but for example, I could go to this show card Gothic. I could change the font color. We'll change it to green over here. Uh, I could change the kerning and, let, kerning and letting. I can change the font face by clicking the right arrow. I can make it slightly blurred if I want to, um, or change the opacity. I can change the shadow if I want to. We'll add one just for fun here. A little, little shadow will make it a little bit uh, larger. And uh, then I can change the border around the letter if I want to, letters if I want to. And again, we'll make this a little, little bit bigger just for fun. We have lessons on this, but it, it's, it's all the, the customization you want to do on basically the, the simple look and feel of the letters. The other thing that you can do now is you can do an ease in and ease out. So if, if I have the, the title in my timeline uh, for any given number of seconds and I say I don't want it on the screen that long, I can move the in button and here it's moving into the particular video by two seconds and I can do a move out here where it stops. Maybe let's make it stop at uh, seven seconds. Now I click on OK and though my title is on the screen, if I click on duration I'll see it's on the screen for 10 seconds which was my default. We have lessons on how to change that by the way. Uh, it's on the screen for 10 seconds but because I use the ease in and ease out when I go to play this, it won't appear until I told it to two seconds into the title and it'll disappear before the 10 seconds is over. So you can change all those features very quickly with the basic version. I'm going to get back into the editor and show you a couple of things about the advanced. When you click on the advanced tab and you can switch from one to the other in the same edit session with no problem, I have three more options that pop up. I have the reflection, I have the 3D setting, and I have something called object settings. I'm going to click on that one. This is where you can adjust position, scale, height, aspect ratio, opacity, and rotation. And you also have a keyframe section here where you can begin to fill in all kinds of keyframes and use uh, advanced keyframing 
um, to manipulate your text visually in terms of size, rotation, scale, and where it is on the screen. So if you're not into those advanced things for this particular text uh, and you don't want to worry about it, you just click back on basic and you're there. If you want to do some more uh, complicated things with your text, use the advanced button on the right. It's a nice little feature to make your editing simple if you're doing something very simple and it uncomplicates your edit screen or more complex if you uh, want, want to make it a little bit more interesting and take some special time with your text in CyberLink PowerDirector. Mm -hmm.